guys! In this episode of Bujo Battles, I will be featuring bullet journals from SEQA Studies, Phantoms Need Rehab, Pen and a Notebook, Study Blur Brie, and Moonrise Studying, all from Tumblr. As always, don't forget to submit your bullet journal to Bujo Battles using the information in the description box below. The first bullet journal I am featuring is from Masha at SEQA Studies at, on Tumblr. And so her key has tasks, events, priorities, some long-term items, and things like that. And so she starts out her month with a month at a glance page that has a bunch of different categories and kind of gives an overview. And then on another page has a two page spread of a traditional box calendar. And you can see that she started using a type of color code and decided instead to focus more on making a cohesive color scheme and then her daily pages run into each other just like a traditional bullet journal does and she is also a cartoonist or a comic artist and so instead of a habit tracker that many people use she adapted the system and decided instead to make it a comic tracker or like a tracker for the projects that she's currently working on and then in addition to that she also has a two page spread for some goals and some long term things and being able to use this type of system for projects that you specifically need to be working on is something that I personally do in my bullet journal and I'm really glad that she does it as well. This next bullet journal is from Lizzie at Pen and a Notebook on Tumblr and her layouts are first of all super well lit and are absolutely gorgeous. Her first layout was her original design that um, she started out with and so she did it uh, very simply. Her key just consisted of task boxes and she would use some banners to separate each day and um, also did an, a yearly overview of all of the important events throughout the year. And her next layout is a little bit more minimalistic and um, started tracking things on the sides um, like vitamins and things like that, which is a really good way to track habits. And you can do that um, instead of using a habit tracker like other people use. And um, in the next layout, she kind of started experimenting with different headers and finding what kind of system really works for her. And in the next layout, it's the current one that she uses. And it's very, very easy to set up and making a color scheme is super awesome. There's also a monthly spread that she uses that works just like a traditional calendar and just um, this is a great way to plan ahead. I do the same thing in my bullet journal and I love having different uh, views so you can plan ahead instead of just planning each day. And in addition to that, um, some of her collections include like lists for um, topics needing uh, to be studied for a specific class. In this case, it's computer science for her. And being able to have that flexibility in a bullet journal is something that's super, super useful. And I'm really glad she takes advantage of that. This next bullet journal is from Fandoms Need Rehab on Tumblr and on the inside cover they have a weekly class timetable or schedule pasted in which is super convenient if you refer back to it often. And for the most part the setup for this bullet journal is very similar to the traditional format with the index and the key and the daily spreads and except this person actually does a bit of habit tracking within this daily spread by tracking snacks, lunch, dinner, and water on each page instead of using a habit tracker. And I think that's super awesome. And in between the daily spreads, this person also uses um, collections to track books to read, movies to watch, um, goals, etc. And after a couple of more daily pages, there's also p a page for um, motivational quotes. And having something like this 
in your bullet journal is a great way to uh, continue to feel really positive and disciplined and reinforce motivation. And next we have more dailies here and there's also a studying master list and having pages that are separate from the daily task pages that are dedicated to studying like this exam study spread is so important as a student because it really helps you prioritize and see big picture what you need to study like these important events with all of the exams coming up in addition, a gratitude log is such a cool way to use the bullet journaling system and it's so awesome. This next bullet journal is from Brianna at um, Study Blur Brie on Tumblr. And she does something really, really interesting with her bullet journal. And she combines both the bullet journal system and the art journaling system into one notebook. And so basically, she does this by dedicating certain spreads to certain topics um, like for example she has a page on self-care and the thing that she likes the most about the bullet journal system is how customizable and flexible it is because she can have her daily spreads with all of her tasks and time sensitive events she can have her sketches and her art and collages all in one place and so this is something she takes advantage of by like pasting in photos and using washi tape and stickers and I think this is just a really cool way to use the bullet journals system and I've never seen someone do this before so that's really really awesome. This last bullet journal I'm featuring this week is from Moonrise Studying on Tumblr and Tony has a really cool bullet journal because it has a cloth cover and then the notebook is inside and then from there the legend or key flips out on a folded piece of paper and that's a really really cool thing to do especially if you've just started the system because it can kind of remind you of which um, icons and status of icons mean what and so first off there is a calendar of 2016 with several months on the two pages and this is probably an awesome way to do long-term planning um, just because you can see so many months in advance and then from there there is a monthly spread of a calendar that covers the entire month on two pages noting down important dates and this helps to keep track of the day as well and next are pages for to-do lists and goals and there's also a habit tracker for the month as well um, the daily spreads are pretty simple which i think works best for most people and um, just notes down tasks appointments as well as the weekday and the date and from there the bullet journal not only keeps them organized but also is an artistic outlet and also like pastes in like flowers and sketches and tapes in like tickets and things like that and i think that's something that's so awesome about the bullet journal that you can do so many different things with it i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel because i will be posting videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and also be sure to check out my 8Tracks Instagram and Tumblr accounts. Bye guys!